This is January 1st, 2022. God bless you all and I wish you a blessed, happy new year. The year 2021 is behind us. What a turbulent year. The Bible talks about uh, a trumpet that gives an uncertain sound. Well, haven't we seen a real fulfilling of that? Uh, uncertain sounds uh, everywhere. Uh, confusing sounds, a lot of confusing sounds in 2021. Sounds of new variants, sounds of jabs and boosters to subdue them. In the middle of all of this, we saw leaders of countries breaking rank with the elite, doctors giving up their career and taking a stand for the truth. RCMP officers no longer willing to conceal what's really going on and on and on and on. Many, many people have stood up and taken a stand and we thank God for them. Very much so, we appreciate every single one that has stood up. This narrative that we have been dealing with now for almost two years is really cracking, has a lot of things that are very, very hard to prove, very hard to believe. And we understand that people are um, more and more beginning to see what it really is. Well, at this point, there seems to be no end in sight. Variance and boosters is the sound of every passing day. The economy of the world is taking a severe hit. Inflation is going through the roof. Business closures and folks losing their job is rampant and on and on and on. Uh, I feel personally very, very sorry for all those that have lost their job, businesses, family businesses that had to close uh, due to the uh, tyrant oppression from the governments uh, in all these different countries. Where does this all put humanity? It's one word, fear, capital letters, fear. That is the goal of the enemy. That's what it was all along. So we could say as far as the enemy is concerned, mission accomplished. Suicide rates and drug abuses skyrocketing, marriage breakups, family abuses, family issues, just a lot, a lot, a lot of things going on. So what is the solution? Here we are, beginning of the new year, and the future lies ahead, unseen. We don't know what it holds. What can we do? What, what are our solutions? There is really only one solution, and that is we must get back to the foundation, back to the blessed old Bible. Isaiah 28 verse 16 says, and so the Lord says, I'm laying a firm foundation for the city of Zion, it's a valuable cornerstone, proven to be trustworthy. No one who trusts in it will ever be disappointed. That is what we must focus on. Nothing else will bring us through. The psalmist says in Psalm 18, verse 2, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. With courage in our souls, we face the new year knowing this, what the devil means for evil, God turns around for our good. In closing, I want to remind you of a beautiful encouraging scripture. Isaiah 54 verse 17, no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. God bless you.